what are some common questions that you receive from patients regarding you know, your medical advice to take medication in order to control their blood pressure? Well, let's talk about the patients. Now, according to most doctors, including myself, or our male patients, our men, the number one concern is, Doc, is it going to mess with my ability to, you know, do the manly things I do with my spouse at home? That's a very, very, very big concern, and, and it's something that's understandable. But what I explain to my patients is, including the men, if you have these side effects after we try this particular type of medication, we can simply stop that one and switch to another one. And in most cases, if you have side effects with a certain medication to include that losing of that ability to uh, have relations with your wife, and I keep showing that muscle, then we can try a different one. And in most cases, if you try a different medication, you won't have that side effect anymore. And after I explain that, most patients are okay and they'll go ahead and take the medication and lower that blood pressure, which I explained to them, can save their life. Right, we want to, We want you to lower your blood pressure, you know? What are some potential side effects, though, from taking the medications? I'm sure you've been asked this all the time. Every day, every day. Well, number one, my men are concerned about their ability to uh, perform their manly duties with their wife, but also some people are concerned about fatigue, which some people can have. Some people can have swelling with certain medicines like amlodipine can cause swelling. Some people can have uh, swelling in the face or extremities. All of these side effects are discussed with each medication, but the take home is, and I repeat, I explain to the patients, if you get on a medicine and you start to develop those side effects, we can switch to an alternative uh, type of blood pressure medicine. And in most cases, you won't have those side effects, but we won't know until we try. But the good news is, if you start to have the side effects, 99% of the time, if we just switch, then you're fine and there's no, um, you know, no threat to your life or anything. But if you don't take the medicine and you keep the blood pressure elevated because you're not taking the medicine, the side effect to that is very likely a stroke or a heart attack in the near future. Yeah, we want to prevent that, absolutely. Are there other ways, Dr. Quinn, besides switching medications, if, if you know you do have really bad side effects from one? Is there other ways yeah. that patients uh, can do something else? Most definitely. I mean, we advise all of our patients positive lifestyle choices, exercise, eat healthy, less salt in your diet. That'll help lower the blood pressure. And we might be able to stay on the same medicine, but at a lower dose. And that individual might be able to remedy any side effects. But the take home is talk to your medical provider. Let them know what's going on. And if you let them know what's going on, in many cases, a solution is just a prescription away. Right. Any questions, just go ask Dr. Quinn.